Here we are. To the bridge? To the bridge. Yep. Yep, and the red dots are disappearing in front of us. Yay. Oh, it's dusk. No wonder the light is so pretty. The color of the trees. So pretty. How are we doing? We're doing good. Okay, trees are glowing, the light of the setting sun. <laughs> and we still have Billy Ostrich with us in the Twitch chat. Hey, Billy. Careful chickens, he said. I forget where we were when we said that. Oh, probably when the stealth critter had been slain before we even knew it was there. Yikes. Here we go, across the bridge. Okay then. Now we're gonna make our way down the hill to the right. Make our way to the island. Oh, we got some lag here. Yikes. Yikes. Rubber banding. Rubber banding. Okay, it stopped. Yay. Wild gray wolf down. Yay. That tusker that tried to chase me earlier. Oh, we got wolves here. Yikes. I'm going to go off to the side here because there's a red dot on my right. That's okay. Off we go to the island. Yay! Here's our strange chicken nest. Okay, so when we go to the other side, we're going to end up at Trestle Bridge, right? We're going to run underneath the bridge and wait there until our escort finds us. Okay, so Og and Doc can make his way. I use, I use, I find, um, find your way to a stable master. You know the mission stable master? He takes you right to the, um, the mission stable master in Trestle Bridge. That's how I got my escort here when I was doing this last time. I yeah, I'm already in Trestle Bridge. Okay, awesome. We're hiding under the bridge. You gotta be careful because there could be like orcs. Oh, I hear bows and arrows. I hear I hear combat sounds out there. Did orcs attack the bridge? We want to stay in here if they did. Yikes. That's scary. Is they uh, orcs will occasionally approach the bridge, so we can hide underneath the bridge and not worry about the orcs. Okay, I should take a picture of us in here, all hiding under the bridge. Make the names go away. <laughs> I heard that crunch. <laughs> so did somebody just take a shortcut off the edge of the bridge? 
Yay. Okay. Our escort has arrived. Yay. Are we ready to rock and roll, people? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're heading north. We're heading for Fornos now. Let's run for Fornos. You don't see any orcs, do you? I hope not. I hope not. Let's head for the road here. I sort of scoot around just in case, just in case orcs come down from their camp. Alrighty then. Here's the flock. We got the flock together. Now, all the way up to Fornost. Get my auto run happening. So my bedtime reading these days is Fellowship of the Ring. Last night I was reading about Tom Bombadil. Have you ever read the companion, um, the, the reader's companion, I think, Hammond and Skulls? I don't know. I don't believe I have. But uh, I can... I will be putting that sort of thing on my reading list once I get through this adventure of reading which I've not enjoyed for so long because I just recently purchased a really nice copy of the um, combined um, edition where it's illustrated by the author it comes with all the maps it comes with other extra goodies in the package it was rather expensive more expensive than the Hobbit and Silmarillion that I recently purchased so I got The Hobbit and The Silmarillion recently and read those. And then I got an even nicer version of The Lord of the Rings. And now I'm reading that and rather enjoying it. It's been a while. Now I listened to the audiobooks a year or two ago. And that was nice, but it's not the same. It's just not the same as holding a paper book in your hands and reading with your eyes instead of your ears. Just a different experience. Not a bad experience. Audiobooks have their place. I rather enjoy listening to them when I'm doing like chores and whatnot that are not too um, intensive in terms of your attention, right? You can wash dishes or do laundry or whatever. But yeah, I used to have a copy of Lord of the Rings, like three paperbacks in a slipcover thing. Somebody borrowed Fellowship and I never saw it again. And like, it, it wasn't until like 30 years later that I finally replaced my missing book. But now I got a much nicer copy than the one I had before. Oh, yay. I figure I treated myself. I deserved it. It was like, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> oh. The Reader Companion is like uh, annotations for the, the three books. Oh, that I would enjoy. I like reading the footnotes to things. So, I, I noticed there's a there's a book of maps and stuff. I love maps. I will have to put that on my on my wish list as well. Add that to my collection. One of my little future projects that I like to do is compare Middle Earth in the game to actual quotes from the book. Like just little details like the fox and locate as many of those I can and find the place in the books where it talks about, you know, like the, the trolls, the stone trolls and the troll shaws where Tom and Bill and what's his face, um, Bert, Tom and Bill, I think, are the names of the trolls from The Hobbit that are in the troll shaws frozen in place and just make a little blog post or something where I compile as many of those as I can. And just look at details in the book and see, here's a detail that they copied very faithfully, you know, and just point it out. Okay, gotta be careful now. He's up ahead of us. There will be mobs to slay. Just a few of them on the road in. There's an orc on the right side of the path. Right in front of me. A bit of rubber banding here. Yikes. Yikes. And there's a chubby guy on the other side. 
And then there's a warg and a ravager. Yikes, yikes. Back up, people. Look out, look out, look out for the warg and the ravager on the path. Back it up, people. Look out. It's a little dangerous here. Okay, just running away here. There's a warg now. The warg's got to go, too. Can we, can we get the warg down? I'm just running away from this warg that's walking down the path. The leg. <laughs> the leg. That leg could have killed us all. <laughs> I, I kept clicking on it and it wasn't doing anything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, at least we were able to back up before it reached us. So yay for that. Let's run up here before they respawn. Oh, my goodness. So through the wooden gate is the next batch of mobs that we will have to do away with. Yikes. So we will run up and find the next chicken stone. There's a couple of orcs around a campfire up ahead, up ahead here. And sometimes there's some critters that are red dots on the mini-map apart from them. So the, the flock will gather on this side of the gate and wait for the red dots to disappear. There's another red dot just to the right past the campfire. <laughs> and another red dot just past that one. Okay, so let's go around this side of the campfire and head for the steps over here. I think the chickens are in the clear here. Here we come. Yay. Up the steps. Straight up the, the ramp here. We're doing good. Well, the ostrich said, nice shot. Not sure which shot that was. I'm trying to pay attention to where I'm going rather than focusing entirely on the chat. Focusing too much on the chat is a good way to end your chicken run early, so we don't want to do that. We appreciate the uh, the cheering section in the Twitch chat, so thank you all for that. Here we go. Our chicken stone is way over here in the corner. Right this way. Boom. We did it. Do I even have my North Downs? Okay, let me pause and get my... North Downs Explorer loaded on the map. North Do North Downs Traveler uh, loaded on the quest tracker. So we've got Breland Traveler, North Downs. And we can do Angmar, Lone Lands, and Lone Lands. So now all of my deeds are on my quest tracker so I can see all the things that we still have to do. Are we getting roasted up here? <laughs> Why not, eh? Roasted chickens. All right, then. Our next adventure. Two birds in a hand. Talk to the hand. Birds in the hand are worth how many in the bush? How many yeah. How many birds in a bush would, would yeah, this is a That's math your problem. Picture. That's your picture. Oh, <laughs> up here, birds in a hand. Okay, so let me get my, uh, okay, if I move around here. I guess I... Uh, Oh, good. Okay, so where did our chicken tender go? Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, so let me move around. If we can get that last chicken up in the hand. And here's our chicken tender up by the fire. Let me take away that. All right, there's a nice... <laughs> perfect. Perfect chickens. Okay, there's the whole flock and our chicken tender way up by the wrist there. That'll that'll make a... That'll make a... Uh, a nice little, what do you call it? Thumbnail. The thumbnail for the video. So do we rush out to try to beat the spawn in, or do we wait for them to spawn again? Well, we'll see. We'll see when we go down there. If we're quick, maybe we'll uh, we'll do it in time. But it's dangerous. We might be better off waiting for them to respawn and then slaying them on the way out. We might get past the guys at the campfire before they respawn. 
if we're quick. We'll see. I gotta get my mini map back, pop open my uh, UI and stuff, put my names back on so I see what's going on here. Okay, it looks like we might have respawns already. Yes, yes, they have respawned. They have respawned. So feel free to take out those two guys at the campfire. Yay! Thank you very much. And off we go through the gate. The first gate. There's another gate. Watch out for the uh, guys that'll come up the path. They'll come right through this next gate. No Mertensia. Watch the. Watch out for the red dots on your mini map. Let's get our uh, let our chicken tender go out ahead of us here. There's one, two, three, four guys that really should be defeated before we head out. Oh, look at that. The, the warg socket. They just spawned right at the gate there. They just spawned right at the gate. That's scary. Scary guys. There's another one down. And the Ravager is going down. Okay then, now, turning on my auto run and off we go down the road, yay! Go on this side of the road because there's a red dot on the other side. It's all good. And we're well past them now. Not to worry. So now we're headed for Gatson's farm. The Gatson's farm chicken stone is our next destination. Oh, there's somebody in my IM, so they didn't even see. Someone has to... Oh, that's not... False alarm. I'm good. Okay, then. Off we go down the road. I'll have to check and see. Once I get into Angmar... I may have to go into my options for audio and turn off ambient sound because it's just too annoying. You know what? Why do I not have any music playing here? I should be very careful doing this. Uh, where's my music? Music is like way down. Ambient sound is off, so yay. So it won't be so annoying once we get into... Um, what do you call it? Angmar? It can be very annoying. What part of Angmar do we have to go into? Well, we'll go in through that Earthkin village, Le Lemakoti or whatever. Um, yeah, Lemakoti, Chicken Stone. And then we go into Ogare. And then we head over to Malinhad and find a chicken stone in the, an encampment there. And then we run up to a cha strange chicken nest to leave. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's not too bad. But there are stealth mobs on the road out of Ogair. Those um, Sklara or whatever they're called. Skara. Here we go. Off we go to Gatson's farm. So the stealth guys are kind of scary. And that's where... Um, Hunter tracking skills are very helpful during that particular segment of the adventure. I could bring back... I could try and bring back my hunter just so his tracking skills can be used on that segment of the run. 
but I had one hunter get me across that section two days ago when Hilda Galadriel accomplished this uh, quest. So chickens. Careful in the end run now, says Billy Ostrich. Please merchandise when you do it on Arkenstone. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So we have a request to do crispy chicken runs on Arkenstone. I hear ya. Should I put crispy chicken on a t-shirt or something? I don't know. I've, I've not, none of my stuff here is monetized or whatever. But I will be participating in a charity stream thing that's happening, I think, around the beginning of March. I saw someone put up a thing looking for streamers for a charity stream. So what I'll do is I'll do some sort of chicken run that weekend. And I'll just link to her charity thing in the stream and then raid into her charity stream once my chicken run is over. So that's that's a thing that will be fun to do. So yeah, I, I don't have... there. There is no crispy chicken merchandise at this point. <laughs> I suppose it's it's doable, maybe. Um, yeah, it does not exist yet. I know how to do it. I can. I know there's a place where you can go and put a design on a T-shirt, and people can order it from the store that makes the T-shirts or hats or whatever it is, baseball hats. Yeah, crispy is crispy's awesome. So off we go down the road. I should try and pay attention to the uh, to the mini map here. I don't want to get distracted looking at chat and forget to watch for red dots on my mini map. That would that would be unwise. That would be at least as unwise as eating barrow brie. If you know, you know. Oh, hang on a second here. Off we go. With a slight delay. Sometimes there's mobs close to the road when we run through here. Here we go. I'll check the nasty guys. Right, we're on our way. It'd be fairly easy to get to Gatson's farm from here. And down the hill to the bridge. Nice wide gaps between the red dots on my mini map, so pleased about that. Makes our chicken run less stressful. Oh, so Billy Ostrich says, I mean, I mean post it somewhere or anything. Because uh, I'd love to run a free range as a chicken with my main character. Well, you know, we can do that on Arkenstone. I, I do have interest. Somebody ran a free range uh, a free range chicken run on Arkenstone a few a couple weeks, maybe a couple months ago. It wasn't that long ago. I would have liked to have been there, but life intervened and I wasn't able to join the run. I would have enjoyed that. But next time there's um, a chicken run on Arkenstone, and maybe I'll do... Um, maybe I'll do some of the other chicken runs on Arkenstone. I might do a series of free range chicken runs on Arkenstone. That would be fun. Just pick one night a week or whatever, and I'll do the free range series and then followed by Minas Tirith and the Lonely Mountain. And 
but doing free range on Arkenstone, that's a, that's a tall order. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hey, Gatson's farm. Where's Gatson's farm? Oh, it's up ahead of us. We're not there yet. That's a different farm we just passed by. Okay, so we want to head for Gatson's farm. There's farmhouse is up this way. We'll follow this little ridge here. Oh, yikes, yikes. There's an orc up ahead. There's an orc. Let's go down here. <laughs> Let's go around the orc. Let's give him a wide berth. Yeah, and we can go up behind this farmhouse. We got the Gatson's farmhouse. Where is everybody? Everybody following? Good, 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 good. Right at the corner of the farmhouse here. This is where our chicken stone is hiding. Do we get it? Do we get it? Uh, Makote, where's our North Down? So now it says discover the Estelle in chicken stone. North Down Explorer should only have one chicken stone left on it at this point. And now, we got to watch out for some scary spiders on the hill as we head for that Oryx yearling on the other side of the hill. Look out for the red dots on the minimap. Okay. Oh, there's a roving warg right in front of us there. We can do without him. Thank you very much. that work on the hill. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a spinner. There's a spinner. Do without him. Thank you very much. You're doing a great job, Agandok. We appreciate you so much. So much. We love you. Okay, where is the herd? Aha! I think they're this way. We have to find the herd and there's the quest ring for the little guy. Let's talk to the little guy here. Finish now. Completed North Downs Traveler. Yay. And now for our next adventure, let's head for Estelden. Right this way. We can head right down here to the road. for the critters there. Now, if I look at the map, yeah, we kind of got to go off to if we go straight north, we'll find a little road that goes in. We can go around in between these uh, mobs here. Straight ahead here to get to the road. The red dots are disappearing from the map, so yay! This Northern Plains buck is harmless. He's not going to cause us any problems. But he'll disappear anyway, so no doubt. Okay. There's a bear up there. People! There's another bear walking towards the road. Yeah, that was a bad idea, bear. Should have stayed away. Okay, here we go. Oh, the scary part is over for a few minutes. Well, we are in Estelden. So we will find our chicken stone. And it's a good place to stop for another short break. And our chicken stone is in the middle section of Estelden. There's sort of three uh, courtyards. It's the middle one we're going to. Right this way. 
Here's our chicken stone. Completed North Downs Explorer. Yay. Okay then. Yay. We got that done. Alrighty then. So, uh, I guess here's as good a place as any. We could come over to the campfire and like just warm our, warm our tail feathers here for a few minutes. I'm just going to go powder my nose. I will be back very soon and we can carry on. Okay, I think I get a really good one back. Okay, nice little roast chicken thumbnail. That should work. I did my screen grab. It'll show up funny on the Twitch stream, but oh well. So is everybody here or are some people still on their little break? Huh, I'm back. Yay. I'm ready. Okay, we'll run over here. 
and see who follows me. That's how you know who's back from break. <laughs> Start moving. Okay, so Vethlo and S's Mira are still on their little break. We shall wait. No chicken will be left behind. Not just for taking a break. So, we are going to go... Um, out the back way here to uh, the eastern part of uh, North Downs, and then we're going to head north to Lemakoti, find a chicken stone. Then we head to Oger, find a chicken stone. And then we head for Turn Luig Camp out in the Malinhad, find a chicken stone. Then we hit, hit the nest in Malinhad, which takes us to Nenharn, at which point we will go meet the gray squirrel. And then snicken down in the midwa Midgewater Marsh. And then we do the Lone Lands, Forsaken Inn, Weathertop, Radagast, Last Bridge. And then at that point, we will continue, some of us, across the, uh, the Troll Shaws to the Strange Nest there. Head for Evendim and go see Longbow in the Eve Spires. And then we'll be, everybody will be all finished. Okay, it looks like everybody's moving now, so uh, let's let's do this. I'm going to go on auto run, and away we go. Say hi to the local chickens. Howdy, chicken. Our pale co cousin there. <clears throat> One chicken for all, all chickens for one. Yes, we are a great little team. We're doing so well. I'm so pleased with how this chicken run is going. We are a successful flock today. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. We will continue. Knock on wood. I'll just knock on my head here. Yep. We shall hopefully get everyone to the last bridge in one piece. without anybody being yeeted back to Sanson's farm accidentally. That would not be good. Here we go, down the path. So there's a few earthkin and some wolves on the way up to the passage out of the North Downs. We'll have to watch out for them. There's a bit of a hill. Or I don't know if I'd call it a cliff, but there's a very steep hill ahead of us at some point. I'm checking the map, make sure I'm going the right way. A little bit off this way. Okay. There's a gap in the hill over here. <laughs> <clears throat> Head for the green onion here. Oh. And the drop of honey we also cannot pick up. Oh, there's a dire warg over there. And it's gone. Thank you very much. And we'll go up over this little hill. And we head for the path out of the North Downs. And I'm watching all the time for the red dots on the mini-map. So these guys are not showing up as threats on my mini-map. We can just run right through the herd. They're good. They're fine. They're fine. There's a guy up ahead on the right is not fine. He is a like warg or something over there. Who's that? We got lots of room. We're good. Away we go. <laughs> it's a nice one. I see a threat right ahead of me on the path and then it disappears. 
There's a warg hunter ahead. There he goes. He's gone. Yay. And here comes another ward walking towards the path. Thank you, Algonok. We love you. We love you. You're doing such a great job keeping us alive. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're so, so awesome. This is great. And up we go. Now we go to the Earthkin village. Get a chicken stone and keep going. And last time I was here, I had to run around looking for it, but now I remember where it is, so we won't waste any time hunting for the chicken stone. mirrors just going freestyle all over the place making an obstacle course out of all the rocks on the path because why not so the critters who live in this village are scary looking but they are not a threat and so it's all fine it's fine they're not like their nasty uh, cousins out on the plane there that show up as red dots these guys are these guys are cool. These guys are cool. It's all good. Okay, so we're going to go over this way. And then we'll go over this way. Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere over here. Found it. Chicken stone. We found the chicken stone. Yay. It's all good. Okay then. And now, moving right along to the next town. There won't be any nasty mobs between here and there. It's not till we get to the the next uh, after the next chicken stone. There's a bit of a scary stretch. Not too bad though. Is everyone following? It appears to be. Yep. The flock is all here. All right then. And don't fall off the hill on the right. Just stay on the path. We'll be fine. More ore, I can't mine. It would be rude to stop and do mining on a chicken run anyway. Wouldn't want people to have to wait. Thirteen minutes left. Got lots of time. And fewer and fewer things to do. Now <clears throat> Buddy up here has a throne. And there's a chicken stone right beside it. Oh, people. Bane of York's here. We're going to run right past the chicken stone. It's right here. Yay, we did it. 
We hit our chicken stone. All right then. <laughs> we celebrate and greet all these people. I got lost. Uh oh. Where are you? Well, I fell under a bridge. Oh no. Where are you now? Did you get to the chicken stone yet? I'm right in the middle. Right in the middle? Okay, hang on. Where's drumstick? Where's drumstick? There you are! There you are! I see you! I see you! I see you! Okay, come this way. Come this way. Come this way to the chicken stone. Here's the chicken stone right here. Right here. Yay. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs>